Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following bearings were observed on a compass surveying. At what stations do you suspect local attraction? Find the true bearings if declination was 1 degree 30 minutes west. Lines are given. For the lines, the four bearings and back bearings are given. Now we are going to check which stations are affected by local attraction. We know that the difference between the fore bearing and back bearing should be 180 degree. In AB, the difference between these two will not be 180 degree. In BC also, it won't be equal to 180 degree. In CD, the difference between these two will be exactly 180 degree. And finally, in DA, the difference between these two will not be equal to 180 degree. So, only in CD, the difference is 180 degree. In this case, we can assume that the stations C and D are free from local attraction and the rest of the stations A and B are affected by local attraction. Now, let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the line and then the bearings. It is the bearing of AB. It is the bearing of BA. It is the bearing of BC. And it is the bearing of CB. It is the bearing of CD. And it is the bearing of DC. It is the bearing of DA. And it is the bearing of AD. We know that the stations C and D are free from local attraction. These two readings are taken from the station C. So these two bearings will be correct. Also these two readings are taken from the station D. So these two bearings also will be correct. In the table let us add two more columns. Correction and corrected bearings. We know that for these four readings, no correction is required. We can directly enter them in the corrected bearings. Now, using this four bearing DA, we can find the corrected back bearing AD. The formula to find the back bearing is four bearing plus or minus 180. We have to use positive sign when the four bearing is less than 180, and we have to use the negative sign. When the four bearing is more than 180, this is more than 180, so we have to use the negative sign. When we add these two, we will get 110 degree 30 minutes. Let us enter that. Now let us find how much correction is required for AD. 110 degree 30 minutes minus 110 degree 10 minutes. We will get 20 minutes. We have got a positive value. So the correction is positive 20 minutes. We know that the bearings AB and AD are taken from the same station A. So the same correction should be applied to AB also. So I have applied the same correction here. When we add these two, we will get 81 degree 5 minutes. Using this four bearing AB, we can find the back bearing BA. Since it is less than 190, we have to use the positive sign. When we add these two, we will get 261 degree 5 minutes. Let us enter that. Now let us find the correction 261 degree 5 minutes minus 260 degree. We will get 1 degree 5 minutes. We will get a positive value. So the correction is positive 1 degree 5 minutes. We know that these two readings are taken from the same station B. So the same correction should be applied to BC also. When we add these two, we will get 131 degree 35 minutes. Now using this four bearing BC, we can find the back bearing CB. Since it is less than 180, we have to use the positive sign. 
when we add these two we will get 311 degree 35 minutes but we already know the bearing of CB 311 degree 35 minutes since both of these values are same our corrections are correct so this calculation can be used as a check we have found all of the corrected bearings in the question the declination is given as 1 degree 30 minutes and it is towards the west now we have to find the true bearings that means we have to find the bearings from the true north to find the true bearings we have to subtract all of these bearings by 1 degree 30 minutes when we subtract these readings by 1 degree 30 minutes we will get the true bearings now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video